So take a listen to House Speaker Paul Ryan earlier today. We as Republicans who fought the creation of this law and accurately predicted that it would not work ran for office in 2010, in 2012, in 2014, and in 2016 on a promise that we would, if given the ability, we would repeal and replace this law. This is the closest we will ever get to repealing and replacing Obamacare. The time is here, the time is now, this is the moment, and this is the closest this will ever happen. Senator, your response, he's saying, this is it. Of course that's not the case, Jake. Uh, there's no urgency here, there's no deadline. We need to get health care reform right, we don't have to get it fast. What we need to deliver on is the promise that we would make health care more affordable for Americans, we would make it accessible, and we would cut down on the stress and the anxiety that health care causes for Americans. Unfortunately, the House legislation is not going to achieve those results, and the breakneck speed at which it's moving is designed to actually make those results probably worse. That's why I think we just need to take a pause and to deliberate more carefully and more openly and get to a result that's actually going to make health care more affordable and more hassle-free for Americans. Uh, Steve Scalise, the House Majority Whip, uh, yesterday told his Republican members, uh, many who, of whom are skeptics like yourself, you're either with Pelosi or with Trump on this. So are you with Pelosi? I'm with the American people and the promises I made to our Kansans that we're going to reduce the cost of their health care and make it accessible and give them more control over their health care choices. Look, there, there are a lot of Republicans who are saying these exact same things in private. Frankly, some of them on Steve Scalise's whip team are saying the same thing. I'm simply saying in public what many Republicans are voicing, that the legislation as it's written, one, probably cannot pass the Senate, but, but two, would not solve the problems of our health care system, problems that Obamacare made worse.